Too Faced Hangover RX transition. Come and put it down on me. I'm right here. Cause I need a little, little sympathy. No. Oh, I'm so disorganized in this video. Ah. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this simple easy look that you could wear to school, or work, or for every day. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. I'm going to start with my MAC Soft Ochre Pay Pot and this is one of my favorite eyeshadow bases. It really cancels out veins and discoloration on the eyelid and I'm going to take that on my M224 brush from Morphe. This is one of my favorite brushes to use for application and then I'm going to blend it out later with a fluffier brush. Also don't mind my little head wrap because I'm letting my hair dry. I want it to air dry as much as possible so that I don't use as much heat on it as I normally do because I use a lot of heat on my hair but I dry it. So, so now I'm going to do my eyelid. And I'm going to blend that out with my E20 brush from Morphe. And now I'm going to take some translucent powder. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. And I'm just going to take the same brush that we just used and set the eyeshadow primer down. Now I'm going to delve into the Violet Voss Laura Lee palette and I have been loving this palette recently. It's been one of my go-to palettes. I love this palette because it has neutral tones as well as green tones like this one, this nice green metallic shade called Smash Lee. The shadows in this palette are amazing. They are very creamy and they are very, very pigmented. It comes with a mirror, so that's a plus. Love that. And it's very travel friendly. I'm going to take my M433 brush from Morphe and I'm gonna take the shade Priss Pot that orange shade right there. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade today. So I'm just putting it in the crease, going back and forth. This is a really great brush for getting into the crease and really blending it out. I wanna make sure there is a nice, even distribution of color. So I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. This is going to be a very easy look, so I'm not going to use that many shadows today on my eyes. I'm just going to use a little bit. Now I'm going to take Britches, which is a bit warmer than Press Pot, and I'm going to put that over top of Press Pot, that orange shade that we just put down. Again, back and forth with my M441 from Morphe. This is a really great brush to also get in there and blend out the crease. Morphe brushes, as I said over and over again, are an amazing, amazing brand. I don't know if you guys know, but I went to the Morphe store. It's a very small store. There was only a certain amount of people that could go in there because it, the store is so small. I think they're going to expand. I hope they expand to other areas in California and maybe all over the United States. That would be awesome. And you know what I just noticed about this palette is that it has Laura Lee's YouTube channel on the back. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I love Laura Lee. She's awesome. I love her videos. So cool. All the shadow names are you know, southern names because Laura Lee is from Alabama. And actually, the next shade I'm going to take is called Alabama. <laughs> so I'm going to take Alabama on my E13, this nice reddish shade, rustic red, I would say. And put that on the outer corner. And these shadows are very good for people who are starting with uh, shadows because they're really easy to blend out and they don't bunch up or anything like that. Very, very smooth pigmentation. So I'm just taking that on the outer corner and into the crease a little bit. 
and I'm angling my brush like this so I can get all in the outer corner very precisely. Now I'm going to take a clean blending brush from Sigma and I'm going to blend that out just to get rid of any harsh lines that we have. Now I'm going to take my E36 brush from Morphe and I'm going to take a little bit of whiskers on the outer corner. Just a little bit to give our eye a little bit more dimension. Basic this color right here and just put it on the eyelid and I'm also going to put some on the brow bone to highlight. Now I'm going to take ColourPop's cream gel liner in Honey Dude and line the waterline. I'm going to line the inner third of my eye. Now I'm going to take Rimmel's Exaggerate Pencil in Blackest Black and line the outer third of my eye. And I'm also going to tight line. Now I'm going to move on to the face. And I'm going to use my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Got that on the face as always. Just to moisturize the face. Oh, it's running out. Can you hear that? Oh my god. No! And I'm going to blend that out with my G2 brush from Morphe. Trying to squeeze every last ounce of this stuff. Uh, yes! And now I'm going to take my trusty, amazing Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Primer, Mattifying Primer, and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. For foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Vanilla. And this is one of my favorite foundations. I wore it by itself the other day and it was so beautiful. It did not cake on me, it did not dry on me. So I am going to use this alone today. I'm not going to mix it with the, what I usually do, the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Put some straight on my forehead. Four dots. Boom. And then blend that in with my... Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. I love. And this is a great foundation for work because it lasts all day and it doesn't cake on me at all because I have dry skin. Making sure that there's no streaks or anything because I've used this foundation with a brush and Every time I use this foundation with a brush, it tends to get streaky on my face. So I suggest using this with a beauty blush. I'm also going to put some on my ears. For concealer today, I'm using the Foundations Matching Concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Fair. And this is one of my favorite concealers ever. So so nice it hydrates the skin it doesn't dry it, dry it out it's like the foundation but in concealer form so i'm putting that underneath my eyes this will make you more awake always powder creams whatever cream you put on whether that be cream contouring anything like that all right so my camera stopped recording <laughs> so i just put the concealer on my the rest of my face and i was saying that I wanted to do a how-to nose contouring video. So I'm thinking about doing that. Let me know if you would like to see that because I feel like nose contouring is relatively new. Right now I'm blending out my concealer with that same Real Techniques complexion sponge. Now I'm going to take my Cody Air Spun Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage and I'm going to very lightly Put some underneath my eye. Only thing that sets my concealer. If you guys, you know, don't want to do this stuff, you don't have to. You can just set it with banana powder or translucent powder. Whatever you guys want to do. You guys can tailor my tutorials to fit your needs. If you watch my previous tutorials, I use a lot more powder. Now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish again. And I'm going to take my E35 brush from Morphe. And I'm going to just 
dust this all over the face. Ah, this thing keeps falling off. Alright, well, you're just gonna stay off then. Don't mind my wet hair. My wet hair is like crazy. Now I'm going to contour. I'm going to use my Chicathon palette from Benefit. I'm going to take my M530 brush from Morphe and I'm going to contour with Hula today. Put some right here of where my ear is, extending downward, not too far down. Chiseling out the cheekbone. Not dragging the powder too far down. For bronzer, I'm going to use my bronzer booster from Physicians Formula. This is the light to medium version. And I'm going to bronze the face with this. And I'm using my M527 from Morphe to do so. I'm going to dust away the remaining airspun powder on my face using the using the using the banana powder from the shade light and eye palette from Kat Von D. I'm gonna take Ludwin, the banana shade underneath the eye. This has been one of my favorite banana powders to use under the eye because it's so creamy. And I'm using an E48 brush. And this brush is really great because it fits really nicely underneath the eye. I'm also going to put some on my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and the forehead. I'm also going to use it to chisel out the contour. I'm going to contour my nose using the Chicathon palette and Hoola again. And I'm using my E27 brush from Morphe to do that. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Stylist Brow Plumber and just put that through my brows. I ran out of my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and need to get some more. <laughs> so I'm just using this today. Now I'm going to highlight my inner corner using my M431 and my Laura Lee palette. And I'm going to take Sugar, my M431 from Morphe. Now I'm going to line the top of my lash line using my matte liquid liner from NYX. This is my first time using it and I'm very excited to use it. I'm not going to do a, a very, I'm just going to line the top of my eye. I'm not going to do a wing today, or at least try not to. I've been practicing my wings lately and I just keep, wanted to keep practicing. You guys don't have to if you don't want to. See how black that is? Like, that is, whoo, that is really black. It goes on really smoothly and really pigmented. So you can create really thin wings with this, like, and get up on the lash line really nicely with this stuff. Even better than the, my favorite NYC liquid liner. Today I am using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed B4 brush from Morphe. This blush is a really great blush for every day. It goes with every look. And I'm going to put some Rockateur from Benefit over that with the same brush. Now I'm going to curl my lashes with my Tarte Curler. Before I do mascara, I'm going to go back into the I'm going to go back into the Violet Voss Laura Lee palette and I'm going to take my M432 brush from Morphe and I'm going to take Britches and Alabama on the lower lash line. I'm going to blend that out with my M441. And I'm also going to take my M508 and I'm going to take a little bit of whiskers and put that on the outer corner. For highlighter today, I'm going to use my Sin Afterglow Highlighter from Urban Decay. And I'm using my M501 from Morphe to blend that out. For mascara today, I'm using a new mascara. This is the Tarte Teased by Tarte, and I'm really excited to use it because the wand is so cool. Look at that. I'm so excited. I've heard really good things about it, so. Okay, this mascara 
is not playing. This mascara by Tarte is amazing. Like it lifted my lashes, it separated my lashes. My lashes are like straight up. Like, gosh, Tarte, you slayed it. Tarte slayed it. This is my new favorite mascara of all time. Like, oh my goodness. I am using this like every day of my life now. Oh my goodness. Yes, Tarte, yes. You killed it. Packaging also is really amazing. I love the gold and then the black paint splatters everywhere. I really, really like it. So cool. For a lower lash mascara, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Usually I would have to put on a second coat of mascara, but with the Tarte one, you don't need a second coat of mascara, girlfriend. You don't need that. You don't know you don't. I am super impressed. I am super speechless. Tarte, hats off to you. Clapping. Clapping to you. I'm going to set all of this down with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For lip liner today, I'm using the NYX Hydro Fudge Liner in Nude. For lipstick today, I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Dopey. Just cleaning up my lip line with some concealer. And for gloss today, I'm using the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Samantha. Now I'm going to dry my hair and put on my work outfit and I will be right back. And this is the final look. This is my work outfit. I'm wearing a black and white polka dot shirt with a tie in the front as you guys have seen throughout the video. I love the sleeves and I am also wearing black pants. These are from Ann Taylor Loft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below with what tutorial you would like to see next on this channel or if you would like to see a how-to video on nose contouring or eyebrow do's and don'ts or eyeshadow do's and don'ts. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear you guys' input and please subscribe if you have not already. All of my social media links are over here as always. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Those are all some sort of version of Victoria Claire, except for my Snapchat, which is We the Claire X3. And I hope you guys are having a lovely day, evening, wherever you guys are in the world. And I will see you all on Monday with a brand new video. Bye! Back and forth in the socket to get a nice precise blend. And this brush is really good for that because it's really precise and it really fluffs out that color and blends it out really, really nicely. That's why I love this Morphe brush. I need like 15 billion of them because ah. funniest memory. Well, we just have fun like around the house and like when I'm filming tutorials, she can, she's really loud and crazy. So uh, you all see that in like the blooper section of the videos. Yeah, and, and then she'll be like, am I in frame? And then I'll be watching.